हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई इंटर्नशिप इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद फोन पे एंड फ्रैक्टल एनालिटिक्स आई हैड इंटर्नशिप इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस टू कंपनीज सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर वॉट आई हैव बीन थ्रू एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर देयर टू कंसिडर बिफोर गोइंग फॉर एन इंटरव्यू फॉर एनी बडी हु इज अ फ्रेशर there were a lot of people who were asking me questions on instagram and also on my youtube comment sections they were like uh, how did you get this internship and what we need to do to get an internship and things like that so i'm just going to uh, tell you guys that how did i get the internship when i was doing my mca which is known as master of computer application uh, there was this compulsion that we had to do an internship for a period of 6 months in the last semester so i had to do my internship from jan 2019 till uh, june or july for your information i'm just going to tell you guys that how campus placement works because i have experience of campus placements only so the first thing is whenever a company visits your campus they will share a jd with your college so they will have everything in the job description that what kind of job is this whatever is written in that jd it might be possible that they are looking for a candidate who have all those skills second thing is few companies might give you a presentation in your college Uh, that what that company is all about and uh, what they have done so far when did they start how did their company grow and uh, what they are doing currently in the market so that you guys will be familiar with the company after these two things are done they usually share the criteria that who are the people who will be eligible to sit for the interviews criteria completely depends on a company so they might tell you that you have to have 60% or 70% or 80% in your 10th 12th or in your graduation there are few companies who don't have any criteria that means each and every student in the class is allowed to sit for this interview and i'm telling you guys this is the best because each and everyone gets a chance to sit for the interview and it's a golden chance for those students who don't have good pointers in their graduation so if you have a low pointer and there are few companies who don't have any criteria target those companies because there are people who have very good pointers and they will be eligible for all the companies because they have high pointers and if you have less pointers then it might be possible that you will get very less chance to sit for an interview so just target those companies who don't have any criteria <laughs> so after you get to know about the criteria and uh, you sit for the presentation the company will share the dates that when you will uh, have to sit for the interview and what different rounds will be there and sometimes you might not know that how many rounds will be there so the first round is actually an aptitude test it could be online or it could be on a pen and paper after finishing your aptitude test they will shortlist few candidates further rounds could be group discussion technical rounds and hr rounds again it varies from company to company few companies might have a group discussion which is nothing but they form different groups and they just give you a topic and you have to talk about that topic in a group it's just to test that whether you have good english communication or not but it is very rare few companies conduct this round after gd when you have to sit for the technical round where they will ask you questions related to the technology and what different skills you have which programming language you know there are few companies who just conduct one technical round and there are companies who conduct two rounds and there are companies who conduct three rounds so again it completely depends on a company once you give those technical rounds and you clear those technical rounds you move on to the hr round in hr round they will ask you a lot of questions about yourself rather than the technical part because they want to know about you that what kind of person you are will you be a perfect fit for that company will you be a person who will work in a team how much you know about that company so they will ask you a lot of questions about the company and answer those questions in a win win situation if you don't know what is a win win situation google it the different rounds that i have told you guys about um, they can shuffle so be prepared for the interview and be prepared for different rounds so that's about how the interview process works as i'm going to share my personal experience with you all guys i'm also going to share that what different things you have to consider and there are few tips which i'll give you don't 
think that this is a solid thing which you have to follow you can come up with your own things so first is phone pay phone pay came to our campus in august 2018 and when i heard that phone pay is coming to our campus i was like wow the first tip which is confidence so first of all when you hear this big company names and you think that you are not a good candidate to sit for those companies then your confidence might affect because i thought that phone pay is a very good company it's a very big company and i was like i can't get into this company because there were people in my class who were very good and i thought like i'm not at all in a competition with those guys and there was one more factor because of which i did not prepare for the interview when phone pay had a talk with our college they said that they will just hire one or two people i thought that they are just coming for one or two people and i knew that i was not in the top 3 of the class and for your information it was my first ever interview like in my whole life and i had no experience at all that how to sit for an interview so i was just looking for the experience that how i am going to talk to this big people will i be able to talk to those people will i be able to answer to the questions will i go blank or what i was just looking for this interview as an experience you have to have confidence in yourself that you can do it be confident but don't be over confident the second thing is preparation i think these two things are very important and they both depends on each other like if you are preparing for the interview and you know that you are prepared then you will automatically be confident and if you are confident then your preparation will reflect in your interview you will be able to answer the questions i did not had these two things in my phone pay interview you never know how many people the company is going to hire they just tell you that they are going to hire one or two they might not hire at all if the candidates are not good and if they find that the candidate is very good they might hire five or 10 people so just don't go with the numbers as well i'm connecting my experience and tips with you all guys because i think these things are very relatable and you can also get an overview that how things work so when i heard about devops i was not even bothered to you know look for devops on the google that what kind of profile it is and what is the market need for this profile it was mostly related to linux and networking phone pay was one of those company which did not conduct any presentation about their company that what kind of work they do so i had no idea what phone pay is all about basically i was not prepared for the technical as well as for the hr round tell me about yourself this is a very 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 common question and then he started the actual interview that do you know anything about phone pay and who is the ceo do you use phone pay app in your phone and what are the different features that you know about phone pay and i gave him answers very you know honestly i told him that no i don't use this app currently so he was like okay and he also asked me that uh, did you see phone pay advertisement which was released recently i told him no i haven't seen the ad yet what is that one thing which makes you very frustrated or which makes you very angry i thought i should answer my questions very honestly so i just told him my personal experience tell me about yourself this is a very qu basic question you just need to get hang of it and then he started um, asking me that do you know anything about devops and at that time i knew a little bit about devops so i told him a little bit about devops which i knew about devops <laughs> and then he asked me that um, are you interested in this profile have you ever worked with linux or unix so i told him that i had os in one of my semesters so i know a little bit about os okay so here comes my second biggest mistake first was the confidence and not preparing and all those things and he started asking me questions and i told him straight forward that i'm more into data structures i'm more into databases and i like programming which i shouldn't have told him there was this one question which i still remember and i feel foolish when i think about this question do you know about uh, mailing and do you know how mailing works in networking since i haven't prepared at all i was like i won't be able to answer this question unfortunately i did not answer that question i just told him that sorry i don't know about this so he was like okay okay no problem 
and then he asked me one more question it was something related to os and some command and to be honest i really did not know anything about that command so i told him that i don't know about this command it was horrible i was like why am i here and what am i doing here i'm just making fun of myself and things like that so i think i learned a lot from that third round because it was eye opening and i got to know a lot of things what not to speak what to speak <laughs> how to think in front of those people the question that he asked me about mailing actually i knew the answer of that question when i was learning networking in one of my semesters there were a few protocols which were related to mailing so after finishing this round they told us that they came here to hire 10 interns can you believe it 10 interns i was like what they just told us that they are going to hire one or two people it was the strategy if i knew before i would have prepared very well so please guys don't give up and don't depend on the number that they are going to hire one or two 10 or 20 people i think the kind of interview phone pe conducted for us it was very unique i believe because to be honest it was very 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 easy so out of 11 or 12 people they hired seven interns so that's how my experience looks like for phone pe for an internship i'm not going to tell you that this is how phone pe conducts the interview no not at all i think it completely depends on what kind of person they want to hire you have to know about the company that which company is going to come and do you know anything about the company so just study a little bit about company get to know about the company from anywhere from any sources sources like linkedin or glassdoor or their official website so now i'm going to share you my experience with fractal analytics i think when i compare fractal's interview with phone pay fractal's interview was very difficult so this is the t-shirt that i got from fractal on my first day and i still have this t-shirt so i just thought that i'll wear this t-shirt for this video I knew for the fact that fractal analytics is tough to get into. I prepared very well and since I've prepared very well I was very confident for this interview. When they came to our campus they told us everything about the company. So I also got to know a little bit more about the company and they also told us that they are going to hire people for the product which is known as Concordia. They told us a little bit about Concordia that it is a data harmonization tool and how things work and they also gave us an example as soon as pre placement talk was over they gave us time to have lunch and after lunch we had to sit for the aptitude test so there were two consecutive rounds first round was for 90 minutes mcqs were all based upon the java concepts all sort of questions related to java apart from mcqs there were two problems which we had to solve and we had to write java code to solve those problems and talking about myself i was able to answer questions very well in the mcq section and i was also able to solve both the problems second round which was based upon general aptitude which had questions from the topics like cons and logical reasoning data interpretation and verbals and it was for around 75 minutes on the very next day on 17th of august 2018 they gave us the list for the shortlisted candidates and out of 55 or 60 students only 7 got shortlisted and i was one of them so i was very happy because if you don't get shortlisted after the aptitude test then you don't stand a chance to sit for the interview he started with oops and then he got into oops concepts like inheritance polymorphism all those things and after that he grilled me a lot on access specifiers that what different kind of access specifiers are there in java and when to use which access specifiers and what if i inherit this variable which has this access specifier into this class and after that he got into collection so he told me that do you know about collections i studied very well for collections so i was a little confident about collections so i told him that yes i know about collection and then he started that uh, what is the difference between map and set and what is the difference between list and this difference 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 he was just asking me differences and if you know about java collections then they are very confusing he moved on to exception handling and he asked me a lot about exception handling when i was studying about exception handling i got into details i was doing a lot of um, you know research that how try catch throw actually works and how it works in jvm 
how call stack works and i also gave him few examples what is the difference between sql and no sql do you know any examples of sql databases or no sql databases and then he was asking me questions related to constraints in sql that what are different kinds of constraints and he also asked me this interesting question and the question was like this if a primary key in a database is string will it work better will it give the faster result as compared to the primary key like which is an integer and after the first round the hr came and she told us that two from seven of you cannot go further so i really like this thing because i know there are companies who will make you sit for the whole day end of the day they will tell you that sorry you could not make it we will let you know about the results and things like that for the second uh, round when i went into the meeting room that meeting room was bigger than the first room I was a little scared to be in that big room but i was like no i can do it the interviewer was sitting was and he was very chilled he he was like oh, come 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 sit he told me that tell me about yourself so i told him about myself and i gave him my resume so let's get started with data structures he told me that we will start with linked list so tell me about linked list after that he told me that okay let me give you a problem and you have to solve this pro- problem related to linked list and you have to write the code as well started designing something once he has done finishing his design he was like okay look at the problem i looked at the problem and i started thinking about the logic that how can i solve this problem meanwhile he told me that uh, take your time and you have to solve this problem in three steps first step will be like finding the problem whether the linked list has a problem or not if you have the problem in the linked list then in the second step you have to find the node where the problem exists and after finding the node in the third step you have to solve the problem whatever pointers which are missing or which are directing to the wrong node you have to correct those pointers and you have to make the linked list proper after solving this problem he told me that and he told me to do that on whiteboard i had to you know draw everything that uh, this will be abstract class this will be interface how things will be connected to each other and what name will i give to those classes meanwhile he was asking me questions related to abstraction that uh, what abstract class is and uh, why you are choosing an abstract class over here so you know you have to tell them uh, the reasons why you are using those classes over there or why you are using an interface over there and he also told me to write down what different kinds of methods i will have in those classes so i wrote down the names which i was more familiar about he told me that uh, okay now tell me the difference between all these classes which you have written and to use which class how it grows internally like for example if you use a linked list and if it reaches its capacity then how internally the size of a linked list grows and then he was asking me about generic classes and all those things like how generic classes work how to create an object of a generic class there were few more questions which he asked me and then he told me that okay we are done so after second round out of five uh, one of us they told her uh, that uh, sorry you could not make further the third round four of us were there my hr round was very good just lasted for 10 or 15 minutes and she just asked me a few questions related to company what my family does how many siblings do i have what my parents do why i want to work in fractal analytics and um, you know things like that and after that she was like cool you can go now three of us got the internship when i got the message that okay i got selected i was very happy so that's my personal experience and if you find this video you helpful or if you think that you have learned one or two thing out of it then please like this video i'll see you in the next video bye bye